On cold days like today, people without a warm place to go, they're in, on many of our minds. Well, News Channel 5's Adam Hammond introduces us to a local worker who's being honored by the city for helping a member of our homeless community. Right now, things are freezing under the John Siegenthaler Pedestrian Bridge. But last 4th of July, the scene was much different. It was just brutally hot outside. Alex Warnell was working to set up the Let Freedom Sing Music City 4th of July celebration. More than 340,000 people packed Broadway, but Alex focused in on one person. She was crying, drenched in sweat. I think we were probably just right about here. And she was just, she was just begging me, like, can you please help me? A disabled homeless woman with no shirt said everything had been stolen from her. Kind of took a couple steps that way, and then I was like, she needs to get covered up. She needs help. So took my shirt off, gave it to her, ran over there, tried to get as much like food and water that I could for. Being helpful is not new to Alex. He's been a server here at the George Jones for four years, and his boss says his type of hospitality is what Nashville is all about. He's a role model employee for me. I know that when Alex is on the floor, I don't have to worry about his section, and also he supports his team members as well. Word of Alex's kind deed got back to the Nashville Convention and Visitors Corp, and he was chosen to receive the city's Hitmaker Award. Each month, the city selects a different hospitality worker that's been nominated for an act of outstanding service. He received a certificate and a special luncheon. It was a moment of spontaneity. I just need, I wanted to help somebody that needed help. I think maybe, it's, for me, it's just, it's odd to kind of get an award for just, I just wanted to do something nice for somebody, so. I was, I'm very appreciative. The city knows how important good service is for our tourism industry. Last year, more than 16 million people visited Music City, a 6% increase over the year before. And more than 70,000 jobs, like Alex's, depend on hospitality and tourism. Alex doesn't know how the lady is today, but knows there's something we all can do to help. In your day-to-day -day experiences downtown, you see a lot of homeless people or people that are you know, asking for money or food just to kind of be a little bit more of a decent humans to one another. Adam Hammond, News Channel 5.